Hi, I'm Laura Wagiri and I've been Chief Executive of Tesco.com for nine months. I've spent much of that time talking and particularly listening to you, your staff and our customers. I'm really sorry that I'm not able to be at your meeting today in person, but I did want to take the opportunity to share my priorities directly with you. And those priorities are all about what we do for customers. The video you've just seen was made a little while back to encourage customers to use the service. And the great news is that more and more customers are doing it. Regularly across the country, we're getting 130,000 orders a week. That's double what we got just three years ago, and we expect to get double that again within the next three years. And it's up to all of us, your teams picking and delivering, you managing the operation smoothly and effectively, the central team working on improvements to the way we all do things. So up to all of us to deliver what 20,000 customers a day want. So what do they want? Here's our home shopping version of the Every Little Helps shopping trip. It's got five things that customers want and I'd like to take you briefly through each of them and where I know we really need to focus. The first thing customers want is they want to be able to do their shopping quickly and easily. They are using home shopping after all because it saves them time. So the actual shopping on the site needs to be fast and simple. We've just introduced a new website which is even better than the last. It has two key things that make it simpler and quicker. Firstly, it's got pictures of products. And secondly, it's got a running list of all the items the customers bought so far so they can see what they've already got in their trolley. You'll see both of these later on today. The second thing that customers want is they want to get all the products they ordered all of the time and always as fresh as if they'd chosen them themselves. So for us, this means getting availability right, keeping missing items to a minimum and thinking about would I buy it and code life. We should all keep focusing on availability and I know you get lots of emphasis from your store manager about that. But what I want to talk about is the other two. Code life really matters. I've talked to lots of staff who tell me customers don't understand how long products last. But equally, I've talked to lots of customers who mostly do understand that short-coded product is a reality. But they're rightly cross when we deliver a yoghurt with just two days life, a chicken with one, and a bag salad to be used the same day. So we do need to do more. We always need to get our staff to pick what they'd want themselves and to give customers the best available code life. And on missing items, we are just letting our customers down. Across the country, we have over 7,000 missing items each day. That's 6% of customers who have something missing, and it's costing us £10,000 a day through the refunds we have to give them. If we had 6% of customers walking out of the store with something missing from their shopping, we'd be really energised to fix it. Well, we've got 6% of our customers not getting all the products they ordered and have paid for. They've paid for those products. We don't deliver them, and we must. You'll hear more from the team today about what you can do now to reduce that number. The target is 3% for the year end. The third thing that customers expect is great Tesco prices, and that includes promotions. So we've got to continue to work hard to ensure we pick the promotions they've asked for. Fourthly, they want to get their shopping on time. They've planned around their delivery. They've paid for it. They've got a right to expect it. So we must do more to get vans to leave on time. We must always, always phone the customer if we're going to be late, even a few minutes, because it does make a real difference to how they feel about Tesco and whether they'll shop again. And finally, customers want to deal with friendly and helpful people, particularly their driver, who to them is Tesco. So you need to help our drivers be their best. Know their stuff, share a smile, show they care. That's what makes the difference for customers. Now it's a simple list, but I know it's hard to do in practice day in, day out. But equally I know that we can make real progress in the next few months to make a step change in the customer's experience. And that will ensure we can deliver a very strong Christmas that makes a difference for our customers and keeps them shopping with us all the way through next year. The team are now going to talk about the four priorities for what you need to do to improve our operation for customers.
but I wanted to thank you for listening to me and for your hard work in delivering for customers. Thank you.